and welcome to my channel it's Rebecca also known as four kids at 147 and I'm going to do a little bit of work on some canvases today um, now these have both just been hung up um, since I got them but they did have um, quite a few creases in them which you can sort of still see however they have gone a lot flatter um, also this one now they're both poured glue um, both of these were from fan cells um, but they are both partials so this one we just do the day um, and this one of course we just do around the clock so ideally I would want these as flat as possible so we have a very rare guest appearance of my iron today um, my iron does not come out very often at all so I'm going to see how this works. Now I am going to move my mat off the top of my desk um, and just keep this sort of piece of card as a background um, and that's just because it's plastic and I don't want to tempt fate. Um, we're going to try it first I think on the elk so if you can see he has lines where he was folded um, and he has flattened out and if he was a full drill I would have probably just worked on it um, and it wouldn't have been a problem but um, where the canvas does not have diamonds on it you can still see a very faint line so first things first I'm going to iron on the back um, because I don't want to go anywhere near the plastic that is covering the front I'm also going to put a tea towel over the top uh, look at it, see a lot? I don't think that's got paint on it. Um, and I have got the iron. I am currently on setting for what? Okay, so I'm currently on the setting for cotton. I'm going to turn... I'm going to keep it on sort of wool, so it's medium setting, uh, though it probably has, has already heated up to the hot. And I'm going to try just doing it with the iron over the tea towel first and see whether it does the job or not. So the test is it's best starting on a lowish heat with a towel or in this case it's like a terry toweling tea towel so it's not as thin as a normal tea towel but it's not as thick as a towel. And then pulling that off that doesn't seem to have got it seems to have flattened it a little bit but we can still see the fold lines. So I'm gonna give it a go straight on the top. I'm only working on a canvas at the moment. Is it a paper canvas or maybe it's... I've got the plastic underneath as well, you see. I'm wondering whether... Ah, oh, the plastic seems to be coping. I'm wondering whether the heat's gonna go through too much and affect the plastic that's on the front yeah doesn't seem to be doing wow it's not doing awful but it's not doing wow the plastic no I don't think it's shrinking but the plastic is definitely warm so maybe let's try this let's take the plastic off and let's put some of these cover sheets now these are waxy but they're paper rather than plastic i'm nope, not going to be able to get it with two so these are the ones that i haven't cut down and i'm just using them to go over the sticky parts of the deer because i don't want to stick this to my desktop okay let's give that a go Is that going to work better? I say this canvas isn't awful. I would still do it and I would still work on it. And I think um, once it was in a frame or something, it would look okay. But if I can get more of it out, the better. And I figured, why not let's do it on camera? Hey ho, why not? 
Now I don't have steam on or anything. I do not have steam on on this. But the canvas is very warm. I don't think I'm gonna get any more out of that. Okay, I'm not major keen on, and in fact these have got rather warm, so it's definitely going all the way through. These haven't melted or anything like that. But, it does seem to have moved the canvas a little bit, but not necessarily flattened it. Okay. Have I put that on the right way round? Of course not. You know the plastic, there is one way oh, that comes off really easily and one way that doesn't. So let me turn it around. See that one? Peels back very easy. The other way, not so much. Okay, so I think for the second one, we will stick with the tea towel because I think we do need that. I think we need that extra barrier. And I'm still on the wall setting, but I'm gonna see if this can help to flatten this one out a little bit better. Maybe my iron needs to stay in the cupboard after all. Maybe I'm best just making sure it's flattened with something. So at the minute, these have just been hanging up and it's only the weight of the other diamond paintings that are hanging up that has stopped this one from, uh, that has flattened this one a little bit. Apart from that, I've not done anything to it. So maybe, I'll just be best weighting it down. So this one's a lot flatter. It's definitely making it flatter. I just don't think it's getting any ridges out. But having said that, from the front, that looks a lot better. You can still see the marks on the back, but they're definitely not as bad. So we'll give it another go, especially concentrating around this top part. But I think the tea towel is the way to go. I might turn it up a bit, put it up onto more cotton, though I'm not sure what they make these canvases out of. But I'm gonna stick with the tea towel. Let's see if that is a bit better. Okay, my light's gone off now, so it's definitely on its hottest. I'm trying to make sure, because I can't see what's going on with the canvas underneath the tea towel. I'm trying to make sure that once I put the iron down, I keep going. I'm trying not to stay in one place too long. I don't want one particular place to get too hot because of the plastic underneath. Now these are poured glue canvases and I don't think it's affecting the glue, but we'll, we'll check. Okay, so it's definitely flatter. The glue is still as sticky as ever and you can feel the heat all the way through the canvas. But, I think that's the best I'm gonna get, to be honest. If I peel that back though, you can hardly see any ridges that it had due to folding. So, I'm gonna class that as a winner. Let me see if I have a canvas that I got a little bit more recently. So, Okay, this is where I try not to pull everything out, but I've pulled everything out. So bear with me. Okay. So, this is a canvas I got more recently. I've had this less than a week and it already has a little flick on either side. So let's try how this works if we were treating it as a canvas we just got and see if we can get the whole thing to lie flat. So again, I'm still on cotton setting. I have no steam. And 
and I'm sticking with through the tea towel. Now this is a full drill diamond painting this one so you tend to find that the weight of the diamonds flatten it down with no marks anyway. <coughs> Let's see, how's that done? Okay it's got one side but not really got the other. What if we go straight over it? Try not to touch that plastic at the top because it does overhang on this one. Okay, so I can feel the canvas moving about a lot more. That's very hot when I don't have the tea towel on it. And I can feel that it's getting a little bit more distorted. The plastic is still fine. The glue is still fine. But I wouldn't do it on a hot setting without a tea towel or indeed staying on the canvas for too long I think they can't handle that much heat so if you're going to do it directly do not put it on a high heat I wonder what it will work like with steam Do I try steam? Okay, so I'm currently trying with steam. I'm going to go over it to the point there and back. Whew. Okay, so that was on quite high with steam. I think that's even steamed up my camera. Okay, how does that work? Have we lost the diamond painting? Oh, okay. So that's still the plastic lifting up, but the diamond painting itself is a lot flatter. The plastic is fine and the glue is still fine. Okay, so it's still got that little bit of distortion there, but that was earlier but the actual canvas itself is now lying flat. So, let's test. Do we test the elk? No, that one got a little bit distorted because I did it straight on the back of the canvas. Okay, let's try the clock. So I'm gonna try the clock again with steam. So I'm just going to go back and forth. Okay. Turn my steam off before again I blow you guys all out of the water. In fact that's had more effect on my card underneath. <laughs> so plastic's okay, sticky's okay. But that is probably quite a bit flatter. So I think I'm liking steam on the tea towel. I think that's what's working. So let's try another one. I'm trying to see if I've got one that has, you know, that's got a bit more of a, a flick to it. Though a lot of these have been hung up. Okay, so this one, again, it's got just a little bit of a bend to it. It's not got a lot. Um, it's more a more recent one that I've unboxed, but it hasn't been ages. So I'm putting my steam on. I'm just going up and down. Quickest ironing you've ever done in your life. Quick once over again and off. Does that work better? We've got no flick at that end. We've still got a little bit of one at this end, so maybe I didn't come over to this side enough. So we're about here. I'm only turning my steam on as I go to do it. 
but that's just so that I don't whew, fill this room with a load of steam. Okay, so that's better. So that now lies flat. Pull it up. Glue's still sticky. Plastic's fine. Okay, so that's the end of that test. If you want to make sure that your paintings are lying flat and they're poured glue, make sure you've got definitely got a tea towel over the top, steam and quick. Doesn't do any good for the card you have under a plastic mat, <laughs> but it does fine for the painting. So that's my little test with that one. I say, when I did use it straight onto the canvas, there has been a little bit of distortion in this, though it's hard to tell. So this bit is really flat, but then there's a little bit of a bubble. Um, it won't stop the painting being worked on. It won't stop the painting looking awesome, um, but it will not feel flat. Because if I push down here, it pushes up here. And if I push up here, it bumps up here. Um, I think it will be fine once all the diamonds are on. Um, but this one has definitely fared a lot better. And all I've done with this one is a steam iron with a tea towel over the top and just a quick steam. And that seems to work the best. So I hope you've enjoyed this little ironing session, considering I don't iron, um, or very, very rarely iron. Weddings and funerals is normally about the extent. Um, I think we've done well testing that one out. But to be fair to poured glue paintings, if they're a full diamond painting, I haven't really found a problem if you just make sure that something is either weighted on top of them, doesn't even have to be heavy, or the diamond paintings on top of them have worked for me. Um, but if you've had one just arrive and you're really wanting to work on it, then turn it over, place a towel or a tea towel. As I say, this is a thick, more of a terry toweling tea towel. Um, I've got it currently set on cotton and then with steam, quickly over the top and then take it off and that should be enough to make it as flat as a pancake so thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you all again soon